So here I am, Washington Square Park, high noon. See how many yellow shirts, see how many, ye how many yellow vests you see? <laughs> Just one. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm so heartbroken that nobody showed up. I don't know if anybody showed up. We're going to find out. Marcus Conti reporting on the yellow vest phenomena in France. People standing up for their rights. Some people want to call it socialism. <laughs> Look the word up. It doesn't even mean anything anymore. You mean the socialism that the Russians tried to say that the Americans were socialists and the Americans tried to say the, the Russians were socialists in the 1940s for totally different reasons? Or you mean socialism in, in the sense of police and fire department and social programs, right? So anyway, France burns today. And uh, just walking around the park. We'll talk to some people, man. This guy playing piano over here. A couple of gay activists. Screaming about gay stuff. Talk to them. <laughs> what a bust. So Washington Square Park, this is a... I like it because that's the arch. It's similar to the one in France. It's a George Washington. It's interesting what it says, too. It says, Let us raise a standard to which the wise and the honest can repair. The event is in the hand of God. Pow, George Washington. <laughs> Absolutely nothing going on. So France, I was watching it on RT. So I, people going crazy over there, right? right? People demanding their rights. Right? Am I crazy? Am I crazy to believe that? Am I crazy to believe that we have a right to income and wealth equality in this country? Am I nuts? <laughs> so you got this got this shit going on over there. Trans is beautiful. 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 Yeah, man. Trans is beautiful. Yeah, man. You can find some people from France. Bust some chops. <laughs> Maybe a little piano. I'm so upset. Oh my god, the fucking. My event is a bust. Nobody in America cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> The country is going to burn. Huh? Hey, at least we got Trump. Huh? At least we got Trump. Trump's going to save the day, man. <laughs> Trump's going to raise the corporate tax rate. Huh? <laughs> it's crazy shit. Some crazy ass shit. Try to find somebody to talk to. See if anybody wants to talk to me. Hey, you guys want to talk to me? You know anything about the, uh, the, uh, yellow? Oh, I don't know. There's people running away. Uh huh. Hey, you guys know anything about the, uh, the issue in France with the, uh, yellow, yellow vests in France? Have any idea? Not a clue, right? <laughs> hey, you guys want to go on camera and talk about the, uh, what do you got there? Oh, that's a, <laughs> looks more. That device looks more scary than what I'm holding. <laughs> hey, check it out. You guys know anything about the, um, the Yellow Vest uh, episode and what's going on in France right now? France fighting for their uh, 
sovereignty, I guess, fighting the oligarchy? Yeah, we uh, we just uh, lost our vacation to Paris. Oh, damn. So, so you were going and what happened? We were going and we had to pull back because it's not <laughs> safe. Right, right, right. But don't understand anything about it at the moment. So you know you're not you're not familiar with the politics. No. Nope. Right. Okay. All right, thanks. All right. Good talking to you, man. Hey, you guys want to talk about uh, want to talk about France? Yeah. Parlez-vous yeah. français? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's human rights, trans rights, human rights, trans rights, human rights. <laughs> hey, you guys want to talk about France? Um, know anything about France? About. About uh, France? Uh, no, absolutely nothing you about know France. France. You know what's going on with the uh, with the uh, yellow yellow vest, yellow vest movement in France? No idea. What do you what do you what do you uh, yeah, are you from New York? Australia. Are oh, you from Australia? So France is in the process of burning right now. You heard they're um, fighting for for their sovereignty, right? Uh, what's the oligarchies like jacking up their taxes and causing them to uh, not be able to move around the country? They have no money. So they're they're pretty much that's why Paris is burning right now. Is it a good idea? The more you know. Yeah, you know. Hey, America, this everybody's sleeping over here. I guess they're, <laughs> they're sleeping in Australia too. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? Exactly. You guys from Australia too? Yeah, from Australia. Australia. Hey, have a good trip, man. There's no French people here. You know why? <laughs> they can't afford it anymore. <laughs> they're fucking trapped. Wow, only six minutes in. It feels like a like it feels like two hours. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Ah la la. Hi. La 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 la. It's a piano. Bum, 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 bum. Hula, hula, hula. <laughs> wow, this is boring. Nobody cares. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure people care. But it's easy to sit home behind the computer, you know? Sometimes you just got to get out. Hi. You know anything? You know what's going on in France? No. Where are you from, England? No, I wish. I'm from Virginia. Oh, you're from Virginia. All right. So, so uh, I'm wearing a yellow vest. Do you know what it means? Safety, beware. Safety, beware. <laughs> That's cool. Because right now, and as we speak, uh, France is kind of burning. Yeah. You heard? Yes, yeah. it's been all over the news. Yeah. So we would do, we were supposed to do a. Uh, well, we're not supposed to, but I uh, we was wanted to have a rally out in, in New York, and. Uh, Guess how many people showed up? How many? Just me. No way. <laughs> yeah, and I'm actually I'm actually YouTube famous. You right? could pull in a crowd from on the other side. Yeah, I know. I, you know, everybody's they're they're interested in the uh, in the piano, <laughs> and they're interested in the um, in the pigeon guy. The pigeon guy's popular. The pigeon guy? I don't know the pigeon guy. I haven't seen him. Virginia, huh? Virginia, Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah, so so how's your how's your uh, you mind if I ask how's your income? Are you do you feel like do you feel like uh, that you're that you're making ends meet these days? Are you in good shape? Yeah, I'm in pretty good shape. We just relocated from California to Virginia, so we're in pretty good shape. One in seven people are on food stamps in the country. Yeah, that's eighty percent. Eighty percent of the country doesn't have. Eighty percent of the country is living paycheck to paycheck. Sixty-five percent of the country doesn't have four hundred dollars to their name. What do you think of that? I find it pretty sad. Always willing to help those who are needy. Yeah, man. Hi. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a rough situation. I think people are not. And it's a little get Hi, how you doing? I just retired, so I went from a nice paycheck in California to retirement here in Virginia. But it's nice. People in France are retiring, and then they're, they're jacking up their taxes, and, uh, and they, they're trying to live on like 700 euro when everything costs 1,500 euro. That's pretty bad. It's um, coming here. And the rich. Yeah, they're trying to oust uh, Macron. They're trying to get rid of him. You know? I just the only the only reason I'm out here doing this because I have a feeling it's coming to our shores. You know. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I yeah. agree with you on that. Yeah. It's just a, scary. Just a matter of time. Thanks. For, thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Have a good day.
You're welcome. You guys like my joystick, right? You like you like my joystick? You, I heard you I heard you talking about my joystick. <laughs> oh, you're with you guys together. How you doing? It's kind of interesting. Nobody knows what the hell is going on in this country. We're all in our own little, our own little rabbit holes. Rabbit hole. Hey, you want to talk about France? You know anything about France? Uh, not too much, actually. I wish I did. What's your name, man? Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, reporter, investigative reporter. So I was. We're, we're talking about trying to get people uh, to understand what's going on in France with the yellow vests, right? Do you see the? Uh, do you see the riots on on TV? I have not actually. I, I'm trying to keep off of social media and television for a little while. Mm. Yeah. Social media and television. Yeah. I'm trying to. How do you find out about the world? I look. I walk around. Cool. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good books. strategy. Yeah. I like to read. That's really it. So you think social media is just as bad as like mainstream media now? Mainstream media is just as fixed as social media is too. So it's what if what if the social media is is people that you trust and your friends and they're, it's your media, it's your social <coughs> group. You don't think that's possible either? Well, I think it's possible, but I think at the end of the day, your perceptions of what you believe is your own, and regardless of who your friends are, if you can't form your own opinion, then that's how the mass media gets its news. You know, it's it's in the masses. So so it's better to it's better to be social in in person than it is to be social in social media I think so there's no filter you know and you can filter yourself in conversation but this is more natural than behind a screen right right I can type something and you can interpret it one way and you can type something I can interpret it in, in, in a way what do you what, do you mind if I ask what do you where, where do you stand politically what's um, who'd you vote for well I voted for Hillary even though um, I was a Bernie guy but uh, I lean left. Yeah. You okay with the uh, you okay with the corruption, the uh, cheating in the elections and all that stuff? Better than that was better than what we got. I'm not okay with anybody politically right now. I don't think we have anyone in a place of power that should be in a place of power, right. regardless of party. So I, I don't think we're in good shape at all to begin with. Right, right. See, in, in what happened in France, in my, this is my opinion, but uh, Macron, right? He's the president there, and he was elected in neocon fashion. So the oligarchs, you know, the corporations were behind him. Mm -hmm. And he convinced the people that everything's going to be fine and all. And uh, see, what my, my view is that if Hillary Clinton would have been elected, we would have escalated in that direction faster. See, Trump is a little bit of a, like, like putting the brakes on that because he kind of doesn't, he's kind of not fully in that team, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think he was put in a place of power by the corporations too, though. You know, it's he's kind of in the same boat. So, I, I, if that's he, what's going on in France, I think it's we're in a similar place already, regardless of Hillary or not. Right. The court stopped working. Have you? What, what do you do for a living? Are you a student or? You, you? Nah, I am an actor. You're an actor. An actor and filmmaker. Yeah. You want to plug a plug a movie you're in or something? Uh, major key film. Follow us. Yeah. Cool. Major key. World War II based jazz film. Nice. Nice. I'm 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 kind of I used to be a musician. Now I just walk around with a joystick. So anyway, but uh, yeah, you know they. I think they. Do you think? Um, do you think? Because I agree with you, right? Because everybody right now, if you go on social media, you have people that they're into this Q thing. Are you, are you familiar with Q? No. I have no you idea like what a line like you stand in line on a Q. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta laugh. No. Q is it, this. This is this, this crowd of people on on social media that that think that Q is the president of the United States, Trump, communicating with them on a uh, Japanese uh, a Japanese uh, chat board. I haven't heard a single thing about that, <laughs> but. Um. I can't say it's not. I'm not making fetched. it up. I, I can't say it's not that far fetched. And, and it's probably there's probably like a, a hundred, few hundred thousand people online that 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 follow it. There's truth in it somewhere, I'm sure. There's truth in everything. Right. I'm sure it's not as extreme as uh, as that sounds, but. Or or there's the people that absolutely can't stand Hillary Clinton, right? And the people that absolutely can't stand Donald Trump. 
right? And none of them could, you know, and then there's the, the Bernie people that can't stand everybody. Right? I was a Bernie guy. I was a Bernie. I've, of course, I mean, it should be obvious. Right? But, but uh, you know, and then, so how do we, how do we get people in the same, how do we get people in the same park to talk about the real issue, which is corporate oligarchy, which is corporations run amok, taking advantage of people, monopoly. How do we get, how do we get around it? Well, that's a conversation that we've had been having forever at this point. I mean, countries are built on, on wealth and built on greed and corporations, really. And I think at the end of the day, it's not about joining everyone together, even though as great as that would be to sit down and have a conversation. It's that, you know, this is weird, but people don't matter at the end of the day. It's the price, of, it's the price that you're willing to pay that's going to matter at the end of the day. It's all about money. So I don't think we can sit down and have a conversation about corporation because without corporation we wouldn't function. We would implode simply because that's all we know, if that makes any kind of sense. And again, it's just it an makes opinion. Sense. It's coming from me. So right. so if it, but what happens if we, see corporations are not people, agree? Agree. So why do people pay 30% tax and corporations pay nothing? Because they have the seat of power to do that. Seat of power. But it wouldn't, wouldn't it be like uh, FDR, Jack their taxes up to 80 and 90 percent during the, you know, the 1930s and 1940s. Got the country out of a depression because they're not people. Why not? They're publicly traded companies. Why not tax them? Doesn't it make sense? I, yeah, you're right. I can I can see where you're coming from, but I can't say I form an opinion at the moment. Mm. You know, I'm not going to sit here on camera and say I know what what I'm thinking because I don't just yet. It's right. Something to think about. You know. Right, right. No, no doubt, no doubt. I I believe me. I'm. I'm the last person. I don't know anything, really. <laughs> I'm more confused than everybody. Yeah, but at least, you know, you're asking questions. You're in the park. You're here. Yeah, you're talking. Yeah. You're having a conversation. That's how we learn. Again, you're having a conversation with people. That's how we're going to get where we're going to get. I, I, I was going to start walking up to people. I'll say, hey, I'm a little lost. Can you help me uh, find the truth? Oh, wow. The truth is out there. Is it, what is the truth? I don't know. you gotta, you got to watch the X-Files to know what the truth is. <laughs> All right, man. Good yeah, talking to you, man. <laughs> Good talking to you. You want to plug your site again? What's your site? Uh, PurpleCloudNY.com or my own uh, website, MichaelRobertAnderson.com. Good luck, mate. Good talking to you, man. Appreciate it. That's a good guy. Insightful young man. He's a Bernie guy. Oh, shit. Fucking socialist. Ah, I get one more victim and then I'll call it a day. Try to find some pretty girls. Having a hard time with that one. <laughs> la 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 la. Are hey, you guys from France? You guys from France? <laughs> I thought I heard French. Hey, you guys know what's going on in France? Familiar with France? No? Are you good? Just... <laughs> Sound like they hurt my feelings by not talking to me. I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> New Yorker. <clears throat> so you got to get that piano. That guy's got his piano set up over here. See this shit? It's a real live piano. Real live piano. How's it going? Welcome back. You alright? Got a piano! <laughs> mm. La 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 la. Hey, you guys want to plug your cause? Yeah. Want to plug your cause? So, what's going on, man? I heard you, uh, I heard you tell you talk. What's what's going on? Yeah, um, so there's a bill in the New York State Senate to protect trans rights. It's 10 years in the making. And uh, this year, with the Democratic majority, there's a chance to actually get it passed. Um, with what Trump is doing right now in the White House and trying to um, restrict gender to only two sexes, it's more important than ever that we get this passed right now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so we're fighting for that. So it's in New York, New York State, New York State Senate? It's New York State Senate that's trying to pass this bill right now. It's called the Gender Bill. It's coming up this spring. This is a group of NYU medical students and scientists who are okay. supporting the bill. 
um, and concerned citizens. Very good, very good, very good. Hey, you guys familiar with what's going on in France? France is kind of burning right now. You heard yeah, about it? Yeah, there's a lot of protesting going on right now. Yeah, it's a lot. You know. It's like a, it's an economic problem, not a social problem, really, when you get down to it. See, I, 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 uh, interconnections between social and economic problems, right? There's, um, you know, being oppressed, being being held back. It, um, it affects us in many different ways. Right. No doubt. Thank you for your time. Yeah, Thank you. Sure. Thank you, man. Peace. I think I'll leave that alone. This guy's, this guy's got a picture of a dick and a pussy. Can I see your pictures? Oh, these are awesome, man. Look at this shit. <laughs> We've got a... There's a state of... We've got a vagina, <laughs> and we've got a dick and balls. Very good. So what's going on, man? Well, whatever you're born with, uh, wherever in the spectrum of these they are, um, it doesn't it doesn't determine how you feel. Um, I'm lucky enough that I was born with what I feel I am, and I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine anybody questioning my womanhood, and that's very very um, deep and and. Uh, in my identity, I couldn't imagine anybody um, being challenged on their identity like that. So, do you yeah. feel like, do you feel, <clears throat> just from an uh, outside perspective, do you feel like people are really being <clears throat> prosecuted in, a, in that way right now? Do you feel like it's a heavy oh, burden absolutely. on a lot? Absolutely, absolutely, especially for um, trans people of color. Uh, it's, it's to the level of lynching across the country. Um, we need federal uh, support for this community and solidarity from all sorts of people because trans people exist and have existed all, all along and they, ha they exist, they are your doctors, they are your lawyers, they are your nannies, they are the people all around you and they serve the community, we ought to serve them. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, you guys, are you familiar with what's going on in France right now? I'm wearing a yellow vest, you know what it means? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Solidarity, man, solidarity. <laughs> right, because, like, you know, to me, I, I, I view it as, like, everything's an economic problem, you know? Well, actually, trans people are more likely to uh, lose their jobs, be uh, have discrimination against them, and they do have a tougher time making it. So economically, it is an issue for them. Um, so I think it goes, there's an intersection between trans rights and, and unions' uh, rights, for right. sure. Yeah. So you have a website if uh, people want to find you guys? No. Actually, we can find someone with a little link or something, for okay. sure. Okay. All right. I'll <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Awesome. Good awesome. talking to you. Good talking to you. Birdman. See the Birdman? <laughs> Gay community is, is tighted in France. <laughs> I'm going to kill it here. My day out in Washington Square Park. Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> 